Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. So I'm building upon the accordion app because um, someone keeps asking me more questions about it and how to build upon it. So this video, I want to show you how to dynamically change the body based on basically what you set here. So for example, the question he asked is, I have some HTML and I want to be able to pass it into my accordion. At least I'm pretty sure this is what he's asking. He didn't really give, give me too much context. But let's say you had um, some HTML inside your body here. If you remember in this application, we have an array of products and we map over those products and basically pass the, the JSON data into the accordion. And the accordion will basically render that out um, here, right? So here's the body that it renders out. So the issue is he wanted to actually add HTML to this and have it rendered out. There's a couple ways you could do this. Some ways are probably a little bit safer or better than others, but I'm gonna show you some of the ways um, and you can pick and choose which one you think works best. So the first way that comes to mind is that you could basically have your body be JSX as well. So instead of setting this equal to a string, what you could probably do is set this equal to whatever type of JSX. I could just maybe wrap it in a div. I believe this will work. All right, so now this is JSX, right? So let me do the same thing for all these. All right, so I finished refactoring all these, and now you'll notice is that when I try to open up the accordion, it's going to basically interpolate the JSX, and it's going to add some bolt to it. So that is a quick fix that you can do. Basically, your products could just have JSX inside of it, and when that JSX gets sent down to your child component, we're just rendering out the JSX. So hopefully that makes sense. This is the approach that I would suggest using. But unfortunately, sometimes um, this data might come from your backend, right? So you might not have the ability to have this be JSX. So let me show you a different approach. Again, this, this approach works great. Um, you can basically do whatever HTML inside of here. As long as it's JSX, I could add like italicize to all this stuff. And notice that it made those italics. So, I mean, that probably makes sense. So let's go back to the other approach. Let's say it is a string because it comes from the back end as a string and whatever, for whatever reason, your, you know, your SQL database is storing that stuff. Back to the original approach and just disregard this error we're seeing. I just need to add a key to my thing. I think I could probably do this. We'll do product body. All right, that gets rid of the error. So again, let's say that your HTML is actually a string that's stored in a database. Your back end sends it to your front end and you need to basically convert this to HTML. Well, another approach is to call a function called dangerously set in our HTML. Now, the reason they called it dangerously set is because this is a huge security, potential security hole, right? If for whatever reason you allow people to store HTML into your database, technically they could embed scripts, embed whatever malicious code that they want, and then when your React Act tries to load it or display it, those scripts could run. So you need to make sure that if you are doing something like this on your back and you need to strip out any malicious code. But if this is the approach that you want to take, this is a function that you can basically call. This is an example. And what we could do is go into an recording component here. And I am just going to basically, instead of rendering out body here, I could basically render out a div or a span or something. So I'll do this. Render out a div. And instead of having it call create markup, I could just have it have a function or an object here with HTML. Kind of weird how you have to do double underscores HTML and then you have to pass in body because that is the HTML that would be kind of stored in your backend. So let me remove this body here. I think I have an extra curly brace. So it's really, it's really strange looking, but I think they do that just so that you know this is dangerous and you shouldn't be doing this way. They do explain more about what cross-site scripting is, and this is basically a, a good way to make your website vulnerable to that. But now if we go back to our application, notice that we have that HTML rendered out. So that is the second way you can do it with a string. So the third way I'm going to mention is kind of, it builds upon either the second approach, the first approach with JSX, or this approach with the dangerously set HTML. But what you could do is you could basically pass in the body as a child, um, so instead of running this here, I could actually pass that in. So if I go up to a top level where I'm actually defining this accordion, I could basically pass in inside of this some nested HTML. And you can put whatever you want here. Um, I'm basically going to say accordion or product.body here. So again, I'm, I'm adding a child 
nested inside my accordion component. And if I go back to the accordion, I could simply access that by putting children here. I believe it's children. And then inside of where I want to render out that children um, that's passed in, the children that are passed in, I could say props. I'm sorry, I could just say children. We don't need to say props because we're already kind of destructuring it here. So let me save that and see if that works. All right, so same idea. So now we don't have to pass in the, the body necessarily into the accordion as a prop. It's going to be a nested child where we can do whatever we want with it. So if I comment this out, this should hopefully break. Yeah. So those are the ways that I know about kind of rendering out maybe data that's stored in the back end, or if you wanted to hard code this as JSX, you can do that as well. If anyone knows of another way, another solution to do kind of this approach, be sure to let me know. I'm sure there's a, some way that I can't think of right now. Um, but yeah, I'm open to any suggestions about how you may achieve this. If you want to basically dynamically render out the body and not have to pass it uh, in props, or you can pass it in props, but maybe you wanted to just have this embed some HTML. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. Leave me a comment below if you have a different way or suggestion of how I can achieve this or how other people can achieve this approach of nesting HTML and passing them in props. And then thirdly, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button because I'm going to have other little tips and tricks with React, HTML, JavaScript on this channel that can help you grow as a web developer. All right. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.